grab all this and then group it hide that one click on this one unlock all and then I believe it's still grouped but we'll just make sure so you can right click yeah it's already grouped um, so we're just gonna scoot this over show this one too so now that it's grouped I can move the whole dress at one time okay and then you can color it of course so with your direct selection tool you can let's see we could just do this okay so I'm gonna make all let's just say I have I want the top and the bottom to be the same color and then the middle is gonna be a different color so last time I used a puke green I'll just use this light blue okay and then I want this center to be I don't know sort of weird but it's just a, just a quick exercise. And then if I want to copy this, then I, um, this is a good way to show you the eyedropper tool. I'm selecting the top and the bottom, um, click on the eyedropper, and then click on the area that you want to copy. Click on the middle, eyedropper, there we go. Okay, then we will move this to the front Right-click, arrange, bring to front. Oh, well, you can't do that because it's on a separate layer. So we're just going to grab this layer and move it up. There we go. So now it's in the front. And then once you have these, um, this grouping, you know, however you want it, showing the front and the back. You could either do it that way or you could position it this way. Then you can grab both of them and then make a copy of that so that you have different patterns on your page. So Alt, Shift, and start dragging. Do that again. Okay, and then we can change the color of these ones. So I think you get the idea. Okay. Really bad color col combination. Oh my. Okay, but anyway, this um, gives you an idea. Just practice until you get it. Um, good luck. Hope it works.